Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do Soul Calibur 6 online gameplay with one of my created characters, um, Jade from the Mortal Kombat series. Uh, real quick, for every 100 subscribers this channel gets, I'm going to do a $100 giveaway to one lucky subscriber. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the like button down below. And remember, any donation, big or small, will help the channel grow. Thank you, hope you enjoyed today's video. Alright, let's see who our opponent's going to be. Hopefully somebody strong, maybe a creative character, you know. I like playing against other people's creative characters, to be honest. Even though there's nothing wrong with the main cast in Soul Calibur 6, I love every single player. There we go. What's that? Voldover? Who he? Venom? Spider-Man's Venom? That's gonna be interesting. Ooh, I like that design. It look, it almost looked like him. Let's take a look. Let me see how well it... In your... That's not that bad. I like that Spider-Man look. At least he got the max right. Hmm, I got first hit, homie. So, well, seeing Spider-Man right now... Well, not Spider-Man. Seeing this Venom actually makes me think of the Spider-Man movie, The Ending. Where they show Tom Bray... Uh, wait, Tom Hardy in the ending of the movie talking about all oh, talking about the avengers iron man hawk and that he was gonna make his way up to new york now that venom is copyrighted by sony so i want to see how they're gonna do disney you know maybe probably bought the rights to the venom from sony so they could do venom versus spider-man you know tom holland as spider-man tom hardy as venom that's gonna be good and another thing Recently, Netflix just released um, Morpheus, the guy who um, I forgot that guy's name, the guy Leto, who who played the Joker. Which I have to admit, it wasn't the best Joker. I mean, I still like seeing him, but nah, I don't like the way he portrayed the Joker too much. Even though in Suicide Squad, the Joker was pretty much like the best scene in there too. So I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, Netflix just released Morpheus. And again, Morpheus is a Spider-Man character. So maybe Venom and Spider-Man will team up to try to stop Morpheus, maybe. I don't know. I gotta I gotta watch that movie so I can see what ending or what connections do they have. But that I would love to see that. Well, after Spider-Man and Venom fight each other, then maybe they'll team up. Because you know, in the Spider-Man animated series, Spider-Man was trying to help Morpheus you know turn him back to normal or maybe they can introduce the new blade you know even though um wesley snipes did a great job as blade but maybe now they're gonna introduce the new version of blade mix him up with spider-man but yo they got so many things they could do with him now again in the ending of the spider-man movie they show tom hardy venom like they're gonna go fight and shit and then with Morpheus coming out, I don't know, it's like they could put all three of them and make a hell of a movie right there, man. And and I love Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. Like, he's my favorite Spider-Man out of all. But Tom Holland did the role justice. Like, I can't hate on Tom Holland. Like, he did a good Spider-Man. Like, I like Challenge his character. I really do. And then he finally has the original uh, red and blue suit. So uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. But, I digress. Let's talk about our Mortal Kombat guest here, Jade. Okay. Now, let's see what other appearances have she's done on mediums, right? Like TV appearances, it says here. Although she is absent from the animated TV series Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm, which I think is on HBO, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta catch that too. It says, aspects of Jade as well left as Tanya are used to create the original character Ruby similar to Baraka being replaced by uh, replaced with uh, Harbrack in the series okay that's new uh, I'm about to unlock that character but I forgot what's that guy's name I like that fighting style with the sword I'm about to unlock him it's like what five bucks I think but he ain't no match for me dog I'm gonna see if I could get the broom on your ass and do a clean sweep. Let's see, let me back up. See, see, you gotta love 
You have to love the way you could circle your opponent. No other game has this. This is why Soul Calibur is different from a lot of games. I think, I really think Mortal Kombat and Tekken could benefit from the rotation that um, the Soul Calibur 6 has. Now I know for all my Tekken players out there, oh yeah, we have the sidestep, but you see, you can't move freely like this. Like she easily goes around in circles with no problem, no tap tap tapping. Like it's just like an easy transition of the character sidestepping. And yes, Tekken has it, but it's not as smooth as Soul Calibur, okay? And I think Mortal Kombat could start adapting this as well. You know how nasty, I mean, Mortal Kombat is one of the best games out there right now, graphic-wise, I would have to admit that. But if they have this rotation, I think it would add more depth to that game. I think it would. And I think Soul Calibur 6 knows this, and that's why they were the first to do it, been doing it. And it's time for, you know, for these guys to catch up and do it too. I think it will add more, more to the game, making the game way better. Way, way, way better. I really do. Hey, I'm running through these guys too quickly. Now, let me see here. It says here, in the film, despite her portrayal as a good character, in the game, Jay appears in the Mortal Kombat Annihilation, portrayed by, let me see, Siberian supermodel, Irene Patevia. I don't know who that is, but she's a supermodel, so I bet she's hot. As a character who remains loyal to Shadow Khan until her death, after failing to seduce Liu Kang, and leading the other warriors to an ambush, not before testing Liu Kang and leading him to the temple of the Elder Gods. It says here, Khan himself had her eaten and swallowed by a living gargoyle. Damn, that's fucked up. In his, um, in his palace due to her alleged failure at keeping the Earth warriors from escaping. I mean, shit, she tried. <laughs> Um, there is also a little to no indication that in the movie that Jade and Kitana know each other from the past. Instead of Kitana glares at Jade when she betrays the group during the later part of the film. Now, if I'm not mistaken, ain't Jade and Kitana old friends? I don't know, but I guess in the movie they, they didn't do that. I mean, I gave you a rematch, dude. Let's go... I mean, I guess he's doing a little bit better this time. Maybe I won't get the blue my hand. Oh, okay. I did not expect that move. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here messing around thinking, ah, I guess this guy learned from his mistake. Okay, you got the first round. I give you that. But I'm afraid... <laughs> That's probably going to be your last one. Right, let me keep reading. Now it says here, in the novel, Jade appears in the novelization of both feature films. Her role in the first novel is very small, appearing only on one page before being tricked by Sonya and defeated with a single blow. It is interesting to note that instead of fighting with any of the, of the three weapons she uses in the game, the fan staff, the fan, the staff, or the Razor Rangs, Jade displayed great um, proficiency with her pair of a half moon daggers. I mean, why they why they minimize our character like that, bro? Like, that's messed up. Jade could definitely use one of her other three weapons and with that, but you know, they have to nerf her character for the movie, I guess. It says capable of moving them fast around herself, and she can shield herself from attacks. Uh, Jade's role in the novelization of Mortal Kombat Annihilation is expanded. And the history between her and Kintana is hinted at, but Kintana is disgusted by her arrival rather than a friendly with her, which will explain Kintana's glare at her. Again, ain't they supposed to be friends? Ooh, with the special, my dude. Sit your ass down. See, I gave you one match just to be nice. But now I'm gonna have to get the broom at you after all. Now it says Jade in the movie she takes seducing single uh, Sindel and lures the Earth warriors into a trap, distracting them long enough for the extermination squad to get close. Before escaping, 
Uh, like in the film, despite Sandra's testimony, it says to gauge loyalty, Shadow Khan had her devoured by a living stained glass window for allowing the Earth Warriors to survive. Didn't he just say that, he, that she died by a gargoyle? What are they doing here on this page? It says here, Jay doesn't appear in the Jeff Robbins non-canon Mortal Kombat novel. Uh, he's dead. It says here, in the comic books now, it says Jadis has a minor role in the Malibu comic second series uh, Battle Wave since her participation in the Mortal Kombat 2 wasn't revealed during production of the comics. Jay's portrayal in the personality is high differently from her in the game canon story or traits and traits. Now it says here, in the comics, Jay is an evil assassin under Shadow Khan's command and shows no relation or ties with Kitana besides their sheer looks is a way of pairing with them um, smoke possibly due to both of them appearing in the background of the living fortress stage that uh, living forest stage in Mortal Kombat 2 again I think they're 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 missing the point they I swear I read somewhere that these two were friends and they completely decided to keep them apart now now it says here, um, Gade and Smoke attempted to twice to kill Jax and later Johnny Cage before they arrived in Outworld. But both times they failed to do so. Later, they tried to redeem themselves by killing Raiden during his fights with Kano. Really, yeah, we thought that was going to be Raiden, bro. The third issue of the miniseries, uh, Raiden and Kano, only to be stopped by Kano himself. She is also presented as one of the wedding guests. <laughs> for Shadow Khan and Sonya's wedding in issue uh, number six of the Battle Wave series. So those are some of um, Jade's appearance throughout other, you know, medias. Uh, I will go into her story, but I'm kind of saving that for her online gameplay for Mortal Kombat 11. So that's why I don't want to dive in too much into her stuff. But yeah, man. I like her character. I'm glad I was able to make her here on Soul Calibur 6. Uh, eat that. You have to admit, have a long, longer range weapon, sir. He was not gonna get that. Uh, he got me with his special. But yeah, man, I think she, she, I did the character justice. I mean, she, she almost looks like her from the little I had to work with. Like, I think she looks good. I do like her poster image that I found online. That shit was badass. Oh, you almost had me, sir. Hmm. Back up. Damn. Now it's tied up. See, I gave you a chance, but enough is enough. I tell you, got the first hit. Uh, again. Oh, he blocked it this time. Nope. Longer weapon, sir. Side step. Impossible. <laughs> Not a chance, buddy. Not a chance. I'm trying to see if I can end it with my special, boy. Ah, uh, good move. I haven't fought against Gerald um, too many times, so I'm still trying to. Like learn his moveset when fighting somebody who uses that character to be honest. So it's it's harder to anticipate their uh, moves so I could block them. But I mean after fighting this guy three times like I'm kinda starting to see it. But he keeps falling for the same move I'm doing though. Uh, too early. Gotti. Ah, oh, it's over for your ass. And I got you with the special, just how I want it. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is Jade from Mortal Kombat 11 and Soul Calibur 6. Look at that with the special. All right, guys, catch you on the next one.